Dr. Wayne Anderson, a best-selling author of The Habit to Health, and I want to talk to you today about discovering your own health. One of the key things we want to talk about is the decision to create health in your life. You know, we all have very busy schedules, and as a result of that, our health kind of goes on the back burner. It, it actually is something that, especially as a busy mom uh, or at work, you don't have time to really eat healthy. You, you're probably not moving your body. You're, you're sitting in your computer by your computer. Uh, you're probably not handling stress maybe as well as you can. So literally, I'm about ready to release a book called Discover Your Optimal Health. And in that book, we're going to talk about being the best you can be. And see, most people, whether you're a, an all-star athlete or you basically had two open-heart operations, you're probably wondering, what do I mean by optimal health? What I mean to do is be as good as you can be with what you've got. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk today. I've got two great um, fellow uh, health advocates on the line, two, two people that have made a dramatic difference in their own health and their own life. And so we're going to talk to, to both of them in a minute. But first, I just want to um, talk a little bit about small daily choices. Most people, you know, they always they think, well, they've heard so much about I've got to get healthier, I need to lose some weight, I need to do this, I need to do that. But what ends up happening is um, they try something, you know, Christmas time comes and first of the new year they go on a diet or they go to a gym. But after a couple weeks or a month or so, they, they leave the gym because what ends up happening is they don't see the results. So what it's really important to understand that rather than trying to get one thing, going on a diet or going to a gym or, or trying some unusual technique to get healthy, what health is about really is making small incremental improvements on a daily choice. First starts with healthy eating, healthy movement, healthy stress reduction, healthy sleep. So I have... Uh, two young ladies today. I have first have uh, Deborah. Deborah, are you there? Yes, I am here. Well, Deborah, I know you know. Why don't you tell just a moment to everybody, to our viewers, uh, about you know your your journey towards optimal health? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm here in Spanish Fork, Utah. I found um, the program that you um, take Shape for Life program about three and a half years ago. Um, but at that point, I was really in the obese range. I had you know gained quite a bit of weight. Uh, every kid that I had, you know, it was right after my third baby, I was gaining a lot more weight. Um, I tried, like you said, everything that I could try. I did, you know, exercising myself to death. I tried all the conventional dieting that is out there, and it seemed like I would lose the weight short term, but I would always gain it back. Um, with this program, it was so amazing to me. It felt different right from the start. Number one, I wasn't hungry at all. Um, number two, my cravings were gone, and I felt really good. And um, you know, I had a lot of support too. I had a great health coach that helped me every step of the way. And long story short, I lost 80 pounds in six and a half months. I went from a size 22 down to size four, and I've been able to keep it off. And for me, a bigger part than just losing the weight is the fact that I've been able to be healthier and to learn healthier habits that have carried on to my family as well. So that's it's been great. great. And, and so, so tell me a little bit about um, about how you feel. I mean, you know, you get up in the morning. You obviously have children, and they're, they're running around like crazy. You've got a intense husband. Uh, you, you've got uh, a lot of different things that that go on, and also you don't have a lot of free time. So just just talk a moment about you know what the difference is because you know. One of, the, one of the key parameters that people don't really understand is they think that health is an inconvenience. You know, it's, uh, they don't have time to exercise, uh, they don't have time to eat healthy, they grab something on the run. But the inconvenience of disease is actually something that can occupy all your life. And as a critical care physician, I spent 20 years taking care of the sickest people. And these are people that literally, many of them on dialysis, that rather than the inconvenience of getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom in their bathroom, they have to go down to a um, basically a facility to have their their um, their blood uh, cleanse the same thing that your kidneys normally would do so there's a you know there are things that you can do so maybe just talk a little bit about how what kind of difference is that made by making health a priority uh, and then basically how you've been able to do it absolutely in the past I used to you know I'd wake up in the morning and be really groggy and tired um, I'd get to the afternoon and I'd be, you know, ready to take a nap. I used to have to take a two or three hour nap every day because I was so exhausted, you know, um, being obese and tired and, you know, definitely very, very stressed trying to keep up with everything. Um, you know, I kind of fell into the trap of eating two really big meals a day just because I was so busy chasing after my kids and, you know, doing everything I needed to do. 
Um, so now it's just such a difference. I, you know, I'm eating six small meals a day. I feel like, you know, definitely I don't have the big crash in the afternoon. My, you know, um, I have a lot of energy, and I'm a completely different person. You can ask my husband. I'm a lot more confident than I used to be. I have, you know, a real life now. I go out and I'm social. I do a lot more things. I'm more outgoing. Um, you know, losing weight was just just barely scratched the surface of, of what getting healthy has done for me. So Yeah, no, that's great. And what's neat about that, it doesn't just affect your physical health, but as you said, your mental health, uh, and also all the things you do, you know, between being a mom, being a, a wife, uh, uh, all the things you do in your businesses, you know, you, you've now become a coach and you're helping a whole bunch of other people and paying it forward, so all those things are great. So thank, thank you so much. So Felicia, you're just a, you're kind of a newbie just getting started really on focusing on, on making health a priority. So Maybe just um, talk a little bit about that. Um, absolutely. I have been following the habits of health now. Um, I have lost 17 pounds, um, and I feel great. I finally got to go buy new jeans <laughs> because mine were literally falling off of me. Um, I, After reading Dr. Ray's book, I have really come to understand um, how important it is to make health a priority and how uh, until you make those choices in your mind to really say this is something I want in my life that you're not going to and everything is just a diet. Um, so I have really created um, a way of life now. I make sure to eat breakfast within the first hour of waking and more than anything I'm teaching my children to do the same. Um, we used to make separate meals for our children, um, you know, things that weren't healthy because that's what kids want and we no longer do that. They eat lean and green with us in the evenings and um, they don't complain. They love it. Um, they, um, they have energy and, and I finally have the energy to be able to keep up with them. Yeah, and and overall, just feel great. That's a, that's awesome, and you know that's available for everyone. That's the that's the thing we 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 don't really we kind of because of our daily lifestyle and because of eating fast foods, because of uh, addictive foods and the lack of movement and the the stress we're under and the chaoticness of life, we kind of become comfortably numb to kind of quote uh, Pink Floyd Pink Floyd song. Um, and what we don't do is we don't spend the time to make health a priority. Uh, and trying to go do it, try to do it on the weekends or try to do it next month doesn't really work. It has to be incorporated into your everyday. So one of the things uh, I recommend um, you know, for those that are listening and, and, and want to learn more is I've created a 30-day challenge. It, it literally is 30 days where you can sign up. You can go to the website and sign up for it. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And it, it will actually take you on 30 days of adding the habits of health and those are small little things that you do and, and what I both heard Deborah and Felicia talk about is making a choice you make a decision that you want to create health and then small incremental steps see what, whether you have a cheeseburger for lunch today french fries or you have a salad make very little difference today but over time those small little changes can make all the difference in the world and what we do uh, with the habits of health is we focus on all those different choices. You know, you make over 200 food choices a day. And when I evaluated and looked at people before they really understood how important mindfulness was to become mindful and make health a priority, most of the choices were actually heading them towards the habits of disease, heading them towards a path towards non-sick and eventually becoming sick. And unfortunately, the medical delivery system is not there to help you create health. It's waiting for you to have those secondary things wrong with you, those symptoms. And once they can categorize you into one of those symptoms, then they put you on medicines. But none of that has anything to do with creating health. So again, uh, I want to thank uh, both Deborah and Felicia for joining me. Uh, we are very excited. We are gathering a, a group of like-minded people that want to make health a priority. And we're very interested in you taking a look at what we're doing. So thank you so much, uh, guys. And uh, uh, have a great day. Thank you. Thanks.